James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? Hello everyone, it's Richard G234 here to tell you about what I've got from E3. We'll start quickly with Nintendo. Nintendo mostly talked about the Wii U, it was mostly the main thing up at the Nintendo E3 press conference. They displayed that it was a portable system. So this is going to be a new Nintendo portable system. Hopefully the controls won't be as much as a hassle as you would normally get with the Wii. We'll next go to the uh, Microsoft with... Um, they came out with Halo 4 and Gears of War 3. Both looked good, but the rest of it was all about Kinect, so Microsoft could have been better. Sony was about the PlayStation Vita and Uncharted 3. The Vita looks very impressive with its new touch OCD touch screen. And you can tell by the um, main menu that it's going to have all these different options. So it looks good. And Uncharted 3, well, I haven't seen much of it, so I can't really give much of an opinion on it, but hopefully it looks good. And now, quickly on to something else. Also on E3, you may have heard Konami are doing a Silent Hill HD collection. Konami plan to release this next year, but there have been problems over the voice recording at SH2 and SH3. There has been currently a dispute over Guy Sihi, who played James Sunderland in SH2. He hasn't been properly paid for the work he's done in SH2 because he was only paid for Silent Hill 2, the main version on the PlayStation 2. But he was not paid for the other versions released, like the Xbox re-release, the PlayStation 2 re-release, and the PC release. And because of this, he said he's quoted himself that he would love to come back to do the HD collection, but he can't because of this... He will one day take Konami to court, but we don't know when. And in Silent Hill 3, Richard Gross, the actor who played Douglas, died in 2003 before Silent Hill 3 was released. So, to find another replacement for Douglas is going to be hard. Also, Jeremy Blaustein, who did the, f who was in charge of the voice recording, the vo who was the voice director, um, was has not is not working on the HD collection. Instead, he's been replaced by Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, the singer. So, Silent Hill HD collection isn't as going as well as you think it would. So, well, goodbye and thank you for watching.